What's up guys, Ben here today, coming back at you with another amazing athlete, Angelica here is gonna demonstrate lunges, the optimal way to do lunges. Um, how to do lunges if you wanna recruit your quad more versus how you do lunges if you wanna recruit your glute more. Angelica wants to have beautiful glutes as well as beautiful quads, which she does, and we're gonna show you why. So when Angelica's doing lunges, she's always considering the angles at her hips as well as the angles at her knee. So Angelica's gonna do a walking lunge. She's gonna keep her body upright at first, keeps her chest really tall. She's gonna keep her hip angle at about 90 degrees. So when she comes down, her hip angle is 90 degrees. Her body is really, really upright. She gets her back knee nice and dirty by getting down low, but she stays upright. By doing that, she's gonna really overload the quad. On the second variation, Angelica is gonna drop her upper body forward, still keeping the chest up, thereby decreasing the angle at the hip and maximizing the amount of glute recruitment. Let's demonstrate a couple of examples of each. So she's keeping up really, really tall. By doing this, she's actually gonna overload the amount the glute is working. If she was using dumbbells, she would keep her hands directly at her sides when trying to overload the quads. Okay, now coming back, Angelica's gonna do a demonstration leaning forward a little bit. If she was using dumbbells, she would actually take the dumbbells in front of her to increase the moment from her hip and thereby increase the amount her glutes have to work. Good, so she's really gonna try to bring her chest onto her, onto her knee, there you go. Increase that glute, that glute recruitment. Good, nice and simple, really, really easy tip for you guys at home. If you want to increase the glute, the glute recruitment when you're doing a lunge, you simply increase the or decrease the angle at your hip joint, overload the amount the glute has to work during the lunge. All right, so wrapping up the lunge video, most people get this perception in their mind that they really need to take long steps. When in reality, what you're just gonna do is increase the flexibility or mobility at your hips and actually take the load off of your body. What you wanna do is get most of the load, whether it be from your body and the additional weight of the dumbbells or the barbell, directly over your center of gravity and directly over the muscle you're trying to work. So an example being, if I'm trying to work my quad and I take a really long step, there's gonna be an even amount of weight distributed amongst these two limbs. So when, we were, when Angelica was demonstrating, I had her shorten up her step and really try to keep all of her center of gravity over this limb. So now the quad is really overloaded. Where now I did this, now the hip glute is really overloaded. Whereas if she's here, there's an even amount of distribution between this leg and this leg. So this leg is really being supportive. So what we're trying to do is essentially eliminate the back leg as far as its function. And if I were to do a lunge, I could literally do it like this and pick this back leg up lunge it because all the weight is in that front leg that's the idea so don't overstride when you lunge keep the lunges a little bit shorter and really try to overlay overload the leg that you're trying to work